why do we have climate change? Global warming? Planetary global shift? As a result of the minute degrees uh, tilt of our planet, which we call Mother Earth, this globe in which we reside, held on by gravity, B waves. We have climate change because of global industry. No one is to be singled out or be pointed any fingers at. We're all culprits. As long as you're a modern day citizen living in this day and age, we're all queens and kings, so to speak, aren't we? So now that we know why we have climate change, there are several or multiple reasons we do, how can we help fix these very reoccurring ever so detrimental and in some worst cases catastrophic? Well, travel less frequently using any sort of really motorized vehicle, whether that may be IC, internal combustion, petroleum, fuel-based engine, or even a lithium ion powered, because as we have recently learned, lithium ion is no better for the planet. It's planet's health, overall ecosystem, ecosystem the ecology. Um, it's no better than drilling for oil or fracking which can't be good either really anytime we're in invasively putting holes in our planet that can't be really that great for it especially when we're moving natural resources in which we have been there for way way longer than we have that's for sure the exact number but <clears throat> And uh, mind you, I just want to state this for the record. I'm not a Scientologist, I'm not a climatologist. Uh, I'm not an astrophysicist. I'm just telling you what I know from my self experiences of, of being a gardener slash kind of farmer, um, an athlete who loves spending time outdoors. I noticed that the trees and the grass are definitely have been slowly diminishing as far as their their foliage and their color. And the only reason if you see them green is because they're being watered artificially or they're being um, treated with poisonous chemicals. And, and don't be fooled if you see a, a, a natural lawn company, it doesn't necessarily mean it's organic. They're just maybe using less pesticides and herbicides, which are absolutely terrible for the planet. I mean, not to single anyone out, but you know, anytime you're not dealing with organic farming, I know a lot of you can argue, yeah, well, there's over Eight. 6 million people in this world. How are we going to convert all the farms to organic? You yeah, Well, you know, it could be good. Maybe it could be done. Mother Nature takes care of itself and knows how to. And if we just try to help, not try, but at this point in time, we have to do our best to help assist and aid Mother Nature by choosing to eat organic and maybe not so much fast food, not that's treated with toxic pesticides and herbicides and, and hundreds of millions of pounds of toxic sludge waste and feeding the animals, you know, <clears throat> GMO, genetically modified organisms, GEI, genetically engineered ingredients, um, and, and, you know, and make sure they're being fed a, a diet in which is natural to them. So we're not saying to do any extreme, extreme like convert to veganism or even vegetarianism. Maybe just sparingly try to moderate your meat consumption, your, you know, your intake of meat on a daily basis. Um, so that all said, you know, those are ways we can definitely help assist and aid mother nature in not experiencing these, these world or, you know, I should say worldwide, but yeah, you know, global countrywide droughts, catastrophic disasters, as a result from things I have already stated. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously if you live in the city, you can you can choose to walk or bike or use some sort of, uh, you know, 
There's plenty of electric power transits. That's the whole reason why they're invented, thanks to you know, genius inventors and pantographs and thank you Edison and, and Tesla, Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla. Obviously, you know, Edison was the inventor of DC direct current and Nikola Tesla was the inventor of AC, alternating current, and you know, there's uh, numerous inventors in between, but I'm gonna try to do my best not to make this video so long. Um, I know I'm going off topic here, but yeah, you know, just do your best to utilize transit, walk, bike, whatever, anything other than a vehicle that's propelled by some, any sort of petroleum or anything, anytime we have to excavate and drill in the ground to create an exchange of power to mobilize our, ourselves, our human selves, our earthlings, that is in turn causing a higher carbon footprint. So we wanna do our best to reduce the emissions. You know, not, not saying zero, but, and this goes for everything, you know? But, so we covered why, <laughs> where, when, well, you already covered it. I just kidding. Why, the planet's in big trouble. Where, our mother earth. When, right now, uh, what? Global warming, climate change, how? I already gave you some reasons. If you like this video, enjoy, enjoy um, this type of content. I don't usually post videos uh, regarding this type of content in correlation to, you know, <laughs> climate, but obviously it, it affects all of us. and. It, to this day, right now, as I speak, and you know, the people it most certainly affects the most are the el small children and the elderly. Yeah, seniors and small children. So, <clears throat> regardless of what else is being spewed, spewed into the environment synchronistically, uh, yeah, emissions. Keyword. <clears throat> just be mindful of what you're putting down before you pick it up all right hey subscribe and like guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video